On the line with Joe Cleese here, our buddy from the Mid Pen and PASwag.com and PenLive.com. Joe, uh, continued great work. Uh, of course, our Mifflin County Huskies, we're going to be in the Mid Pen next year. And this winter, we play a couple of the Mid Pen basketball teams, Cedar Cliff and Susquehanna Township. But how things going there this year in 2011? Lots of really good teams, a lot of great storylines. Definitely uh, good to um, hear from you again, DB. Right now, it's, it's pretty exciting in the Mid Pen. Um, Mr. McDevitt uh, just got a big win over Susquehanna Township. Uh, last Saturday. Um, it's a couple of surprise teams down here, Central Dolphin East. They're 4-0 right now. And, you know, that's just a good story over there. So, How about the great George Chomp? Can you believe it? You know what? I can. Um, he's, he's a great coach. Of course, you know, you've seen him coach at Harrisburg. Uh, he's definitely a living legend. It's just incredible how he's changed the coach over at CD East uh, for this year game this week. Of course, I'll be there. Public address announcer Harrisburg and State College. Both teams are struggling this year, Joe. Yeah, you know what? State College plays like a, a tough schedule. Seems like every year they go 1-3 and three or 0-4. Oh um, but I don't think they should be uh, um, underestimated. Harrisburg, I think this is a fork in the road game for them. Um, if they don't win this one, it'll probably hurt their playoff chances for uh, District 3. How good is Cumberland Valley? Defense is tough. Um, the offense, I think that's going to come along, but right now they're playing tremendous defense. I mean, the whole Pacific Devitt to only zero points uh, the week before. Um, that's phenomenal. So I think they're just going to continue to get better on offense, and by the time it's all said and done, probably uh, win another District 3 title course this year we have pretty much a makeshift schedule for the Mifflin County Huskies we're quad a we play a lot of double triple a schools however however next year is going to be a whole different story seven games with the mid pen tell us up here what we have to expect what can we expect in the mid pen year in and year out starting in 2012-13 oh wow they'll definitely uh, need to be ready I mean of course they don't already state college already uh Central Dolphin they're good uh year in year out Harrisburg uh, bring the speed Brings the speed of Cumberland Valley. You know they're always good. And again, Central Dolphin East, they're an improving program. Carlisle, um, they're just going to bring in every week. It's a, it's a very tough conference and one of the toughest conferences in uh, Pennsylvania. Yeah, and of course, basketball, Kirk Smallwood calls it the Big East of the PIAA when it comes to boys basketball, especially. Oh, definitely. Um, it's a good lead from top to bottom. Um, Commonwealth Division, and I know that's the one they'll be in. So um, that's one of the toughest conferences year in, year out. Um, it definitely gets you ready for the uh, district playoffs and for the state playoffs. It's very competitive. So, and of course, you have Harrisburg, uh, Steelton, Central Dolphin. And actually, Central Dolphin, that, they should be a pretty good team this year, so watch out for them. Tell us about your website, paswag.com. The website, of course, I put the uh, video highlights up there for uh, high school football, basketball, whatever sport. The main thing is that I try to help kids uh, get recruited for colleges, so I'll send their information out uh, from that website. You know, help them out as much as I can. Yeah, some of the, uh, let's talk about some of the other big games this weekend in the mid pen. Let's see, you have uh, Central Dolphin, Central Dolphin East. Uh, CD East is 4 0, CD is 3 1. But I think this is a big game for CD East, you know, to tell whether or not they're really for real. I mean, they've been playing good up to this point, but CD is definitely the toughest opponent. I don't think they have to win, but they definitely have to, you know, make a good game out of it. Last couple of years, uh, they haven't fared well, so. I think they need to compete and win the game to win everybody over. Well, uh, Joe, thank you very much for your time. Joe Cleasy, Mid-Pen Sports, and, of course, uh, the Harrisburg Patriot, PennLive.com, and PASwag.com. You do a great job, Mr. Cleasy. Thanks, DB. I appreciate you having me. Look forward to talking.